Hey guys, happy Friday. Wanted to cover something with you real quick. This has been something that has stood out with me, kind of struck a chord with me uh, over the last couple of few weeks with conversations that I've had with agents that I've sat down and met with. So when you have your business, you're operating your business as an independent contractor, you have to really put some things into perspective. So when you're doing a deal, uh, you work with a buyer, seller, whatever it is, at the end of that deal, it's a deal that you put together, that you work for, uh, you got the business, you generated the business, at closing you get a check. Well, you take that check, you bring that check into your brokerage. When you get that check back, there's some of that check that's gone, right? And then you have to also take into consideration the government. I know, sucks, but taxes are part of life. You gotta pay your taxes. So by the time you get done paying your taxes, you went from a check to, eh, eh, that's all that's left? What happened? That's all I got? So what you want to do in your objective is to make sure that this whole thing here, you're keeping as much as you can possibly keep of that. And what are you doing? How are you operating your business to keep that? So you got to sit down and take a look at really what are my expenses? Truly what are my expenses and what am I truly paying for with this eh that you wind up getting at the end of the day? So one of the key things that I really that I've really thought about and struggled with over the years is what's the office space? Real estate has changed over the years, guys, and you know this. So there are a ton of places that have a ton of office space. I've been in prior brokers before that had a tremendous amount of office space, 5,000 square feet. My question is that why do we have 5,000 square feet? You're not in the office. People aren't in the office. Most agents don't go in the office. Some do, and if that's where you go and operate, that's great. That's better for your business. That's better for you. Kudos to you. But most office space, most, most agents aren't going and spending the time in the office. I know me personally, if I'm in the office, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do for my business. I'm not out meeting clients. I'm not out meeting sellers. I'm not out meeting buyers. I'm not meeting investors. I'm not meeting wholesalers. I'm not meeting contractors. I'm not looking at properties. As an agent, I also want to be out looking at properties all the time. While I'm out looking at properties all the time, I have much better market knowledge on what's going on. So do I really need to be in that office? But... In this, I'm still paying for all that office space. Doesn't make sense. Should I be paying for all that office space that I don't use? You got to think about that. The other thing is technology. A lot of places, there's a ton of technology that's out there in this business. A ton of technology is out there for everything. And part of that technology are the systems that, that companies have that they choose to get for their agents. Make no, make no bones about it that you're still paying for that technology, whether you use it or if you don't use it. I know that... I never really used any of the technology uh, that was provided by prior brokers that I was with. That's because it just wasn't conducive to my business. If you utilize the technology that's there and it helps your business, that's great. Good for you. Keep doing it. Keep paying for it. It's a valuable expense to you. But if you're not, what are you doing? Why are you paying for that? I always use technology that was different but had a value to my business. So I made sure what I was spending the money on went towards something that was going to generate revenue for my business. And that's CRMs. That's also phones, guys. I know how much phone systems cost. And hopefully you know how much phone systems cost too. I know here in my office, I don't have one phone. I don't have one phone. I have a cloud phone system. Mainline comes in. Every other call gets routed out to my agents. I don't have one phone in my office. I don't need it. Don't need to have 15, 20 actual phones sitting on desks. Who needs that anymore? We don't need it. And all the other technology is there. And that's look, copiers, everything that's there. Okay, that's part of technology. So what are you paying for and what revenue is that generating for you? The other thing is marketing. And you have to kind of take marketing a little bit loosely, but really reel it back in to make sure that marketing is being done. It has a value to your business. All the marketing dollars that are spent have to bring dollars back in. Every marketing dollar you spend, do you want it to bring in $2? Do you want it to bring in $3? How much revenue do you want that to bring in for the marketing dollars that you're spending? This right here, a lot of people don't understand those two things. Depending on what type of company you choose to be with, you may be paying for corporate overhead. You may be paying for regional overhead. There are um, different structures to companies uh, that have this. And in what you're taking home in your check, you are absolutely paying for corporate overhead expense and regional overhead expense. You gotta think about that. You're not taking that consideration. Here's something else too, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. This right here, excuse my scratchiness, but are you paying for a lack of independence? Because we are independent contractors in this business, but are you actually paying for a lack of independence with that? I talked to someone the other day, they had to pick up the phone, 
call their broker and ask them about a deal that was going south, having some issues. And the agent said, look, can I do this? Can I knock my cut back X amount of dollars? I need to get this done. And the answer was no. Are you kidding me? No, you're an independent contractor. You generated this business. You generated that deal. You're trying to get this to closing so you can get a check. Well, this is your money that's wrapped up into here. Why do you need to pick up the phone and call and ask permission for that? So that's a lack of independence that you're paying for. Here's the other thing. Are you actually able to truly, really cap where you are? In a sales business, we want to have as much incentive as absolutely possible to generate more revenue. That's the more sales we do, more revenue we're going to generate. Can I truly cap out? And is that cap that I'm talking about right here, does any money come out of that? Or is that I do a deal and the commission check is $10,000 and I get a check for 10 k and I get a check for $10,000. That's capping, okay? That's what we want to do. That's an objective. So if you're not in a system that you can truly cap, it's something you have to think about and analyze about your business. The other part that people talk about is the brand, okay? And I get it. I get branding. Trust me, I get branding. I understand how important branding is. Holy crap, I'm going on a little bit too long here. I apologize. But I understand how important branding is. And yes, we pay for branding. Driving into work today, there's a big bus out there uh, with an HVAC company. It's orange. I cost a lot of money to wrap that bus. Well, when you have them come out to service your HVAC or put in a new HVAC, you're paying for that. Don't trust me. You are absolutely paying for that. So as far as the brand, look, my business was my business no matter where I was, no matter what brand I was with. Branding is important. I get it. In this business, people work with me because of me. People are going to work with you because of you. If they don't like you, it doesn't matter what brand you're with. If they like you, they're going to work with you. That's the nature of this business. So guys, these are all things that you need to think about. Okay, All things you need to think about. Sit down, analyze your business. Figure out how much revenue did I generate in the last 12 months. How much did I actually pay out? How much did I pay out in commissions to the brokerage? How much did I pay out in fees to the brokerage? How much did I spend on my own as far as other marketing or technology or anything else that I'm doing that generated revenue? And out of all these, what is actually helping my business grow? If you have some of these and it's helping your business grow with where you are, that's great. Keep doing what you're doing and figure out more ways to generate more revenue to keep more of this check. If you're paying for things, if, you're, if your expenses that are coming out of your check don't have a value to your business, we should sit down and talk. We should sit down and talk and help, and help you truly understand where your dollars are going to. Because with this check that you're generating from time that you've put in, from your appointment to the negotiations on a deal, to closing from contract to close, everything, this is your money that you're generating. How can you keep more of that? That's the objective. How can we keep more of that check and keep that in our pocket? Guys, sit down, analyze your business. If you have any questions, you know I'm here. Uh, you know what I'm doing. Everything is simple with Prime Realty. You got a 15K cap for the year, and that's it. No more. Everything after that 15K is a true 100%. You do a $10,000 deal, you get a $10,000 check. The other part about it is do you have other opportunities where you are too? Um, that's other things we can talk about. I have projects that I'm working on with agents in here that are leading to more opportunities, so we can certainly talk about that. Guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. If you have any questions, call me, text me, 856-906-5885. PM me, DM me, whatever it is. Have a great weekend, guys.